not say. Let's open the package. which is a German brand. I also have a jacket from them, which I like quite a bit, a fleece jacket, so I decided that's probably a good thing to have a backpack by this brand. So, yeah, here it is. By the way, they had like a, an eagle as a logo before, which I preferred as opposed to this modern looking thing, but whatever. Obviously, that you have these pretty heavy um, support of your back, and the idea is that you don't carry the weight on your shoulders, 
but rather on your torso, let's say. And this is why having a good torso support is important. This is basically um, the shoulder straps, which I think is possible to customize the height, so to say. Detach, I think, apparently at least. So let's test it. How would you go about it? Yeah, I think I would have to remove this here to really get rid of those. And I think we have a. Yeah. We have a zipper up here and a pretty large compartment up here where you can put your stuff in, like. Maybe some food, maybe your cell phone even. I think that's a really useful <laughs> compartment. And yeah, I think it's nice that you can remove this. There's also a separate zipper here. As you can see here. Yes. This is another zipper, which is maybe for travel documents, for ID, for a small book. Notebook, maybe. All right. Then we have the Zaleva logo. Custom fit, it says. Okay. Uh, what else? Let's turn it around once more. Okay. What I really like here is that it's possible to open this up and basically pack this separately with some other stuff. This is really cool. And then you have a big compartment down here. And you can put some stuff in there too. Let me check. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, so basically another big compartment in here. I'm not sure what these are for, maybe these are actually for attaching like an additional, um, let's say, yeah, um, kind of mattress, like a small mattress for camping, because we're gonna camp as well, so that might be necessary. Um, let's maybe get rid of that for now. What are those for? I don't know, maybe. I'm not sure to put it somewhere. There's, even if you can see this here, there's like a small um, thing, so you can basically get rid of this thing, so you have one big compartment, or you keep it in, and then you basically have this lower compartment and this middle compartment here, okay? Alright, yeah, so that's pretty nice, for sure. Let's close it up again. Yeah, this was that thing, but I think 
it's not the bottom, so there's this upper part which you can pack, but then there's obviously the middle part which is here, which yeah, is, is bigger uh, like that, and you can fill this up too. Let me just check. There's like this. get rid of the metal of those metal slabs maybe because I don't know what else this would be for but a small thing I think this could really be to get rid of these metal parts yeah, so yeah so you can really get rid of the metal parts that's pretty cool to make it even more lightweight but I think it is pretty lightweight as it is so I don't really need to do that and yeah other than that, we have, um, I don't know if you can look inside of this, but it's a pretty spacey backpack. And check how does it go? Yeah, it doesn't go all the way through because obviously there's the separate compartment in here. And yeah, I think uh, that's pretty cool. You have these things which you can close it off or make it wider um, and here too obviously we can close it off so I think a big question is how many liters to fit inside of it and this is a 50 liter backpack and um, it says 50 plus 10 though because you can apparently load 10 additional kilograms in there, probably up here. You can just stuff it up and you can maybe remove this thing and then you can just stuff it up and then it's 60 kilos. So it's not huge. It's not something that suffices for like a month long trip around the world, but for lightweight tracking in the mountains, let's say, I think it's a really good backpack. I like the colorway. It's a bit dark um, and yeah, I think it's beautiful. There's like, there's like a small pocket in here, which you can use for um, a bottle. That's really important to stay well hydrated. And I think that's basically it. There's just one thing I'm looking for because there should be a coat against rain because it's probably not 100% rainproof. So um, you really, should have something that you can put on top of it, unless this wasn't part of the package, but maybe it's in here somewhere. What do you think? Um, this is one pretty big build. separate pocket but it is empty for now. Okay. We have this here. Yeah, we have this here on this side. Let's check it out. It is empty too. Okay. It is empty as well. So I think. place left now really is um, up here, right? Should we? So let's check if it's up here. Um, okay, let's move it around a bit. Um, maybe up here. not even included maybe I should have bought it separately so this was my bad um, 
I don't know. I still have to find it. I mean, there are another pocket that I forgot. I think I opened it more. That's one of them. One in here. It's not down here. Sometimes there are pockets in here even in those. But really in this model. And That's it. Uh, looks beautiful. I really like it. I don't know where the rain protection is. Maybe I really have to buy it separately, but that's okay. Um, I think I'm gonna just try it on quickly and see if it fits. Let's see. Um, the brand, the name is Camino 5010. I like those things. They look a bit futuristic, and they're very lightweight too. I mean, it's plastic, but. You gotta have that, right? If you wanna go lightweight, and there are really a bit more lightweight ones. I think this one is 1.3 kilos, maybe, but I think that's really okay for sure. There are some by the Swiss brand Expat, which are just a bit lighter, but I also wanted to have one that you can pack from different sides, kind of like. So, yeah, that's basically it, I think. Quality looks good. Um, I didn't see any kinds of bumps and problems so far. This really is pretty cool. I really like those details here, those hidden compartments. Don't know exactly what I'm gonna put in those, but yeah, they're pretty cool. I'm gonna put some, I don't know, mushrooms in there. No problem. And again, what I really like too is that there's this um, whoop, kind of zipper here, which opens up like this. So you can put stuff like socks in here. I think I'm gonna put socks in here and um, my, I don't know, uh, panties, so to say, my undies, and one or two other things but really we have to pack not that much because yeah we're gonna walk so much that we decided that for about two weeks we're only gonna pack three t-shirts four underpants four socks or something we're gonna wash them but we really have to limit ourselves one pair of a sweatshirt one or two pairs of um, pants and um, yeah, that's basically it. Not that much more. Um, only one pair of shoes too. So no tons of shoes. Uh, just to show you some pics from the back too. We basically have all the details here. I think those look pretty solid. Okay. 
here. I hope this is comfortable because otherwise I'm going to have a problem, but it does look great actually. And the problem with my old one is also it had big backs on the side, but they were kind of sticky. I don't know why, but something inside is really weird. So got that same cool material in here, which I really like. And that's pretty cool as well. Basically, if like a really small person would wear this, then they could make this, put this to the, put this down. But I'm probably gonna have it up here. I'm not exactly sure how to attach it eventually. It's probably gonna be something like, um, yeah, some mechanism. But I'm gonna find out. I wonder what these are for. I don't know, what am I supposed to stick in here? Yeah. What's cool that I can really get rid of those as well. I don't know if I will though, because I think they're good for stabilization. But um, I think I think it's cool. Um, custom fit, custom fit, custom fit. So yeah, that's basically it. Again, the backpack that I'm going to be using for Norway. I really hope that it's going to be a good companion to me. And uh, yeah, I think I'm happy with it. I think the color is cool. Uh, again, the model is Saleva Camino 50 plus 10. There's also a model which is um, 60 plus 10, which is approximately the same price. And I paid approximately 120, 130 dollars for it. A bit more maybe even. Um, but yeah, I think it does look cool, um, not too clunky either, and yeah, right now I kind of messed it up, and I hope you don't feel OCD-ish about it, but that's basically what it is. Okay, here we are, I'm not done yet, I still have something that I would like to show to you, and can you guess what it is? Now that you know that I'm hiking, maybe it's not that hard to guess. It's a sleeping bag. Basically, what it looks like. So yeah, here it is. It's pretty small, as you can see. I mean, I do have big hands, but um, even compared to that, it was really important to me to have a small one. And second of all, it's also a um, downen schlafsack. So it's. I think it does contain feathers of a goose. I don't know to be honest, but I know I think it is natural feathers that keep you more warm and they have some disadvantages as opposed to polyester ones. I think they do get a bit more if they if it's humid in the tent then they don't keep that warm. But um, I think in general they are recommended. And the brand is Quido. I didn't know it before, but it did seem to have reasonable ratings and it's also very lightweight this was important to me as well and um, it was reasonably cheap for a real um, natural backpack and the small one I think it was like hundred and fifty dollars maybe not super cheap I didn't really want to spend that much on this stuff but I think it's probably a good investment because I did have another one but it didn't really keep me warm to be honest sleeping bag which yeah you would love to see me sleep in it probably but 
to make fun of me. And the color I picked isn't super fashionable, I can already say that, but that's not my priority. The model name is Takino Large. And um, yeah, there's a medium one too for women probably, up to one meters and 75 maybe, but I'm 185 or something, so that will be too small for me. 185 is probably six foot, six foot one maybe, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, all right, quick info, season. So this is a four season sleeping bag. That's cool. That's something that was important to me. Um, down, so duck down. Yeah, it's a down sleeping bag. So that's apparently the word or duvet, plumino, duvet. So duvet or duck down, uh, whatever you can comprehend. Um, it's a compression backpack, so you can really squeeze it together if need be because yeah as i told you we really don't have much space so we gotta be very economical with our space and um apparently there's some kind of wind protection there's a like around your neck area it's a bit warmer apparently which is cool too and um, there's one protection layer and the weight is 1.3 kilo that's good i mean there are some that are below one kilogram but I mean, this one is just, it's its not heavy and um, compared to like how warm it can get, uh, can keep you and that's really important to me because I get, I get pretty cold in the evening, like many times I wake up and I'm freezing, I don't know why, but this was important to me because up in Norway it can definitely get around, I don't know, 5 degrees or maybe even minus 5 degrees, who knows. So basically the comfort temperature is 0 degrees. So that's basically the temperature where you can still sleep pretty comfortably. And the uh, limit temperature, so that's the one where um, a man, they say when it's he's like crouched together, wouldn't be, um, wouldn't be freezing is minus six degree. That's the limit temperature. And then there's an extreme temperature, which is basically like, okay, uh, you're probably gonna not sleep well and, uh, it says here that like a normal woman would probably be able to deal with it for six hours, but probably shouldn't try it. And yeah, and here being in this extreme area, you should definitely, um, yeah, be careful. And there might be some danger of hypothermia, which is freezing. That's yeah, that's not something you want to do. And I think this says it. The length is 215, 2 meters 15, uh, width is 55 centimeters um, at the legs and here at the shoulders it's like 80 centimeters. To be honest, um, it's something I kind of dislike about sleeping bags because I tend to sleep on my belly and with my legs spread out. So I'm not sure how exactly I'm going to sleep in this thing, but I'm going to have to get used to it probably. The materials. Um, polyester outside, inside, and the filling is 80% duvet, duck down, and 20% feathers. And it's, it weighs 520 grams, the filling. Yep, so basically it's the same in different languages. Tuck in the large. There's like a small thing, I'm gonna get rid of this. But yeah, that's basically it again. Boom. So, um, I could open it up, what do you think? I gotta say, I kinda like the color, it's a bit retro, of course, but there was two other colors, one was like a gray, like a double color, like gray, and then there was like a purple one, which was also kinda retro looking. You can pick it up here, and you could also attach it somewhere, probably, but I'm not gonna do this for now, and you can, like, pull it together really hard if you want to really um, save space, right? But right now this is not my priority. I'm just kind of trying to figure out how to open it up. I think I have to basically open this up for now. I'm not, I don't have to, but I will. Virtually it's attached in there, so it's not even necessary. And maybe I just gotta open this up a bit more um, like this. Boop, boop, 
To do this, I could just pull it out and to be really honest, maybe I don't even need that. So I think the challenge here is to untie the knot here because if the knot is not untied, then I'm not able to get it out of here. And if I can't get it out of there, I can't show it to you, which is all very unfortunate. So let me we check that's a simple knot, not too difficult. Does that make an interesting sound? Pew. Pew. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. All right, that's basically it. Mm. Let's see. So basically here you have the logo of Guido. It sounds a bit weird, Guido. Reminds me of Guido, those people in what is it called again? Jersey Shore, aren't they called Guidos? And so probably I think it might be a German company. I think this was also a reason why I got it, because designed in Germany at least. And yeah, here it says Takino. That's pretty cool. And maybe and then check out the lower parts first basically here that's the lower parts they are pretty cool i've seen a few sleeping bags that had like a zipper down here so you could put your feet out i would have liked this feature but this one doesn't have it unfortunately but yeah you can't have everything so this is the zipper that you can see here I'm just gonna probably open it up or maybe before opening it up let's go up here that is the headpiece so the same that's pretty cool right Oof, it looks comfy we have a pretty cool do you see that highlight it's like a bit of a special um, zipper and there's like this logo with a velcro up here. Yeah, I don't know if that's really necessary, but kind of cool maybe. I think it's good that this is kind of small because it's really made for, um, yeah, no cold air getting in and they're supposed to be pretty snug. So the air gets conserved into the sleeping bag. And there's something inside of here. I think that's like an alternative one, or what exactly is that? Gotta maybe look it up, but... Yeah. You have like a... Sort of a protection... Bag here, which I think could be just outside of the actual sleeping bag. Um, you could just put it in there as well, but... Yeah. Not bad, not bad. So... The big question now is... Does it look comfy? And as you can see, I'm going all the way down. So, as you can see, there are actually two zippers up here. So, there's this one, and there's this one down here, but you're not supposed to move it comfortably. And a zipper goes almost all the way down. There are a few things, maybe for like hardcore. Um, yeah, mountain climbers to attach it somewhere. I'm not sure, and I'm not a hardcore mountain climber, so I don't really need that. So, yeah, as you can see, it's black inside. It's um, blue outside, kind of like a trash bin color, like a trash bag, but uh, I like it. I don't know, I don't mind. And, um, yep. I think it would be big enough, I mean, uh, yeah, that's cool, I really like it, and if you can see this here, this is basically the, um, yeah, it's kind of like a bit of a thicker um, 
comfort thing for your neck so you can kind of almost sleep on your neck so but yeah i gotta really train to sleep on my back because usually i can only sleep on my um yeah on my on my belly like lying flat down and then sleeping a bit to the side which doesn't really work in those because my legs are just stuck together so that's gonna be a challenge so when i'm in the tent in the middle of nowhere then i hope i can fall asleep but walking all day should be healthy all right just testing this um this is me in the sleeping bag trying to navigate around and being all here. that's pretty cool i mean because the zipper sometimes you can't reach it so this kind of thing it's almost like a hand grenade but it's kind of useful so boom so yeah again uh, let's check out some details but basically there's not that much to see there you have the Quido logo www.quido.de that's a German domain is there any kind of small zipper or something no there isn't so that's again kind of like the protection I mean let's be real the it's not really thick or something but um, and I'm not sure about the zero degree I'm pretty sure that if it was zero degree I would be freezing my ass off but that's okay and then phew, we basically have our cool zipper up here the zipper number two down here and then basically our Takino logo down here and yeah uh, that's basically it uh, I don't know I think it's cool I'm happy with it uh, let's see how it works in real life I'm gonna be testing it very soon I'm already a bit nervous but I'm looking forward to it it's gonna be an adventure and let's see if there's gonna be like some polar bear that's gonna eat me up I hope not I'm not sure if there's wolves though so I already said I'm gonna probably take like a big Swiss knife, an army knife or something, so if necessary. I'm gonna do like something like in the Revenant or something, but that's basically it. So maybe I should put this back again. I know it's more fun to unpack than to repack, but I think what's important about those, um, what are they called again, um, duvets? Isn't the duvet a toilet? Maybe that's just a French one. But you gotta be a bit careful about getting the humidity out of those. So if you sweat a lot, then maybe it's good to maybe hang it up somewhere for a bit before you pack it in already. Because otherwise, who knows what's happening. I don't think there's a specific rolling technique, so with those ones, you just stuff them in usually. So that's what I'm gonna try just now. Stuff. 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 So to say, if you squeeze them too much, I think they can lose some of their volume, so to say, and that's a bit unfortunate, but I don't want to have that happen. So, yeah. Sleeping bag that I'm looking 
looking forward to test under harsh conditions, so to say. <laughs> All right.